So as you guys know, I had some fungus damage back here in the backyard. Uh, check out the videos on that and on the channel. Um, you can see what I had, a leaf spot melting out. Got that killed off, got the grass looking healthy. I did lose a few spots. Um, I was gonna wait until fall time to overseed, but Turfman was kind enough to send some product out. Already did a video on the Turfman product in one spot to try it out in the summer heat. Worked perfectly, check it out, I'll link it above. Um, but I wanted to try it out again. Figured I'd use the rest of it, try it out on a bigger area in the summer heat to see how it fared, and it worked well. Let's check it out. So short overview here, if you're interested in see what I've done in the past, check out the videos on the channel, but I lost this area due to fungus. This was the hardest hit in the lawn. Uh, I spent about a month or so ago with my groundskeeper two rake, my manual dethatcher rake, and my manual corator from Lansy, all three of which are great products. I raked out the dead grass um, and aerated this area. I would recommend all three of these tools. I'll link them below if you're interested uh, for small jobs like this. Uh, then I mowed the super short uh, down to probably about a one and a half inch with my mower and came through, roughed up the soil with my dethatch rake again and laid down the turf men first. And then I came back through with a spreading fescue I picked up from United Seed um, and laid that on top of it. Um, shout out to Girls Lawn for leading me on to the spreading fescue. Go subscribe to her Instagram, Facebook, also YouTube channel. Uh, great content. I appreciate her pre appreciate her leading me onto the spreading fescue. Historically, I've had a tough time growing grass in this area, so if I can get this stuff to work out and spread, that would be a huge win in my book. Um, and then I covered it up with a cheaper, low quality, um, lower quality peat moss from Lowe's, uh, just for moisture retention in this heat, and also to cover that extra seed that I laid down on top of the turf men. Um, to give it a jump start and then I came back through hit it with some RGS and some starter fertilizer from Yard Mastery and Green County Fertilizer um, I'll link those below great products they worked well as well I would highly recommend using a starter for and a root booster um, any anything you can get your hands on when seeding to really drive those roots home um, and that's what I did and let's check out the results pleased with the results so I mowed this really short seeded it laid down the RGS the starter fur and guys this is filling in fantastic uh, that turf man germinates quickly I watered it lightly two times a day for about 10 minutes in this area with my rainbird sprinkler um, and I'm very impressed I just mowed it two days ago um, because it's filled in so nicely very impressed with how this came up so I gotta say guys, I'm super impressed with Turfmen. I've used them a couple times now on the bag they provided me. Shout out to them um, for that. I will be a Turfmen customer for life. I love that product. It's great for summer seeding and hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't have any more fungus issues, won't have any more issues with losing turf this summer, and I won't have to overseed in the fall. That way I can get my prodiamine down to avoid issues and get a jump start on them spring weeds. Um, from popping up. 
So I would highly recommend Turfmen. I will link their site below. Make sure you use the promo code LL5 to save $5 off every bag you buy, not off your total purchase, off of every bag you buy. Great stuff. It comes in all different seed varieties. Highly recommend it. Go get yourself a bag in anticipation for those fall seedings or do it now in the hot heat of summer and get your lawn repaired and looking great again. So like I said, if you want to follow this journey, see how that spreading fescue get works out, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you'll see the updates on this back lawn. You'll see how this stuff works out. I'll post periodic updates on um, I'll do another one in the future, probably a month or so to show you if it's still holding on strong. Um, so you don't want to miss that. Make sure you turn on those notifications, like I said, and I will see you next time out in the lawn.